All right, here we go. Miss Mulatto, welcome to Vlad TV. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Congratulations on all the success. I've been looking at the numbers and the TV show and everything. That's yeah, big. I, I appreciate it. Well, you actually grew up in Atlanta, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, you know, in terms of your name, it comes from you being mixed with, a, I guess, a black father and a white mother? Right. Uh-huh. Okay. So... Growing up in the South, you know, because I guess you were born in, uh, was it 98? Yeah, 98. I was born in Columbus, Ohio, but we moved there when I was like two, so Atlanta is okay. Atlanta. Okay, so basically you grew up in Atlanta. Right. Was that a thing at all, having mixed parents in terms of the area where you grew up at? Um, Not, in the, not necessarily in the area I grew up in. Um, it was... It was kind of foreign, um, especially to where I was born, but um, not. It wasn't. It wasn't common, no. Okay, so was there any issues at school, or did everyone not really make it a big deal? Um, it was definitely a lot of issues in school. You know, um, when you're light skinned you're pretty. They they kind they kind of um, associate you with the typical stereotypical light skin. I think I'm all that girl. Um, so I, I definitely dealt with a lot of um, bullying and, and things like that. Okay, but did you identify as black or or mixed or or what? Exactly? I don't, <laughs> I don't like identifying with anything like um, specific. I rather, if I have to be something, I I would say I'm biracial, mulatto. I don't like saying I'm white or black. Okay, and your parents did they stay together or, or no? Yeah, my parents are still together. Okay, so. As you're growing up mm -hmm. with a black father and a white mother, you know, how do they really express to you in terms of, you know, having both heritages mm -hmm. and, you know, not, not really just focusing on one side because you guys, you know, both, both, you know, both sides of the family have a rich history. Right. Um, I mean, I spent a lot of time with both sides of my family. They didn't they didn't put too much emphasis on um, there even being a difference when I was growing up. Um, uh, I, I really didn't even know that it was anything different about my family until I went to school. You know what I'm saying? They didn't they didn't. Um, yeah, they didn't put any emphasis on there being a difference between both sides of my family. I, I mean, I saw the different shades of complexion, but I didn't think any different of it growing up. No. OK, because your name is is very interesting. Miss mm -hmm. Mulatto, and yeah. when I first heard it, I'm like, "Huh, that's that's a word I don't hear very often." Right. So, so I actually looked it up in, mm -hmm. in Wikipedia. I mean, I've definitely heard it, but mm -hmm. I'm like, I haven't heard it being used in everyday speech. So right. I actually looked yeah. it up in, in Wikipedia, and it says mulatto is a term to refer to a person's born of white of one white parent and one black parent, or Correct. the person's born to a mulatto parent or parents mm -hmm. in English. The term is today generally confined to historical context, meaning mm -hmm. that it's it's not used anymore. Right, uh, correct. In, in, yeah, English speakers of mixed white and black ancestry seldom choose to identify themselves as mulatto. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, it's just an old term. Yeah, it's definitely, um, it's definitely a historic term, and it, it originally um, was a derogatory term. It's not even something that people would want to call themselves. Um, but, you know, for me, it's deeper than just saying, oh, I'm mixed. That's why my name is Mulatto. It, um, using the derogatory past, like, I used to be kind of insecure um, about how I looked. I hated my hair texture growing up and um, having to go to school and people look at me like, oh, she thinks she all that. Why she, she, she's so bright, you know, stuff like that. Um, I took that negative energy and made something positive out of it. Hence, my movement being Miss Mulatto to today. So it's kind of like a double metaphor, not literally mulatto meaning I'm mixed, mulatto meaning the term that was once a negative word that I'm using in a positive light now. Okay. I mean, was it actually negative? I mean, could it be compared to like the N-word and so forth? Yeah, it, it definitely um, could. is a similar term to like the N-word. Um, it was like a racial slur to mixed people. Okay. So once you started using that name... How did how did black people react to that? Oh, people, I get <laughs> I get flagged to this day for that name. Um, like when I do shows and there's like older people in the crowd that kind of are more um, aware of the 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 term, 
they will they will be like they they even used to come up to my parents like how dare you let her call herself this you know what I'm saying but for me it's not that deep it's it's me embracing who I am um and it's hard to express to someone that that wouldn't know the struggles um that makes people do experience so it's it's kind of something that I just brush off my shoulders now I don't even care to explain it to people you wouldn't understand it because you don't live that you know what I'm saying Okay, so when you have an angry older black person confronting your father, who, who's also black, about letting his daughter use this name, how did your father react to it? Um, at first, I would say definitely at first day. Um, it was the same with me. Like you're all in your feelings, you know, very emotional at first, trying to explain to somebody um, why I call myself this. But eventually, like we took it and ran with it, and it's like you're not going to understand it, period. You're not going to understand it. It's something that me and my family um, is experienced as a as a biracial um, family. So it's, it's, it's not even worth explaining or breaking down to anybody. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've always felt that that words have too much power. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I, Where, I definitely agree with that. You know, a, a word should not make you want to kill somebody or oh, get okay. angry or uh-huh. get out of your character but uh-huh. quite often that that's what happens mm-hmm. so i mean i'm all for taking words and trying to to take the power away from them. Mm-hmm. it sounds like that's what you're what Yo, you're trying to oh, do oh definitely that's definitely the objective um in naming myself miss milano no and doubt. it's so dope because i have like so many um little mixed girls that come up to me that that do understand what i'm what i'm trying to express with me naming myself Miss Mulatto and they're like, oh my gosh, you just make me love the skin I'm in. You know, I love my, um, I love the texture of my hair. I love my bright complexion. Even not everyone looks like me. As mixed people, we come out looking any different way. You know what I'm saying? So I think it, I love it. So if you don't like it, guess what? It ain't stopping nothing over here. Right. I mean, especially even with siblings where you have oh, one. Yeah. You know, you uh-huh. have a sibling that looks black, another sibling that looks white, and right. one that you don't even know. And you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. It's, I mean, that's cool though. Uh, I dig it. I, uh, I, I can, I'm definitely I can um, relate to that because I have a little sister that people, when we walk um, in public, people don't even think we're related. They think, oh, it's my friend or something. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, and you have a brother as well, right? No, just a little sister. She's like um, darker complexion and darker hair than me.